Hey guys, it's me, Christopher Solomon, and I am here to check my MCAT score. I literally just woke up, just threw on a shirt. I am so scared and so excited. So I'm gonna be filming my reaction and uh, my heart is beating really, really fast. I'm pretty terrified. So let's just get right into it. Ready? Okay, ready? Set. Go. Oh god, I closed my eyes. Three, two, one, go. Nice. Alright guys, now that you saw that last clip, I am so excited to share my score with you. Can I get a drum roll please? My score was a 509. I am so excited to share that with you guys. I know it's not like a killer, like 520 or higher, but it's also not bad. This year I happened to come in the 81st percentile among other test takers, which means that I am doing better than 81% of other students who took the test and only 19% of you jerks did better than me. That's fine. And I know that there are some people out there who want a score like mine, who want to be able to take the test get a pretty decent score and get their butts onto medical school. So that's what I'm gonna help you with. So without further ado, I'm gonna take you guys step by step through everything I did to get the score. All right guys, so before we get started, if you guys could please leave a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and leave a comment about anything I might have missed out on. If you guys uh, have questions about anything that I'm about to elaborate, if you guys want me to go into more detail and other stuff, questions or just to congratulate me I'm freaking done baby um, I would appreciate any kind of feedback so let's get started the first step into succeeding and doing well into the MCAT is time commitment all right let's get serious about time commitment so when I took my MCAT exam I spent about six months from December all the way till June okay I started my uh, studying process at the beginning of uh, winter break, so halfway through December, okay, let's, let's say December 15th, just, you know, to put a halfway, to put a starting point. Okay, so from December 15th all the way until my testing date on June 28th, okay? I didn't study it all the day before the test, so I stopped on June 26th, so December 15th to June 26th, I spent all those six months studying my butt off for this test okay it's not just a test the guys that you can passively study for it does not work like that they say that the average amount of time you need to spend studying for the MCAT to be able to do well is about 300 hours and guys you have to put in every minute of that you can't be studying like half-assedly studying where you, you know you study for an hour then you're on your phone for an hour then you study it doesn't work Okay, you have to commit yourself. It's not just you're committing your time, but you also have to commit your efforts. I spent six months, and in those six months, I'm gonna break it down for you. So from about December till the end of February, for two solid months, I did content review. Content review meaning that I went through textbooks, I took notes on textbooks, I watched videos, I learned the material. The reason I had to do a little bit longer content review was because I started studying for the MCAT my senior year. So a lot of Gen Chem, Gen Bio, uh, OCHEM, a, a lot of that stuff that I took way back in the beginning was not clear to me, okay? And the company, the test prep company that I use to study for my exam is the Princeton Review, okay? As you can see here, I have the whole set, MCAT, all of them. Um, goes through every single section. I went through all of them. And as you can see here, I took notes. I made little tabs. I made shortcuts for me to be able to find uh, important topics that I spent a lot of time reviewing and making sure that I knew it. Also guys, I am open to doing a MCAT book giveaway, okay? If that's something you're interested in, then please leave a comment below. Let me know and um, I will reach out to whoever I choose to win and uh, we can talk and I'll ship you my books. Save yourself some money, guys. I don't need them anymore. So step two, we have study techniques. What I mean by study techniques is this. 
So I want to go over with you guys exactly what I did when I started studying. So as I mentioned earlier, I used the Princeton Review. How I went through the Princeton Review was I would read, I'd go through every single book one chapter at a time and I'd take notes in a separate notebook as such. Um, and as you can see, I took lots and lots and lots and lots and lots, that's a whole bunch of pages later, and lots of notes. To be honest, it sounds a lot to me too. And it would take me about three hours to go through a single chapter at a time, guys. I was serious about that, okay? The reason I did that was because I needed, I, I knew that these concepts would be tested on and they'd be tested on specifically in the MCAT. I needed to know every single step in the way, I needed to know the reactants, I needed to know the enzymes that catalyzed each reaction, the reversible reactions, the irreversible reactions, how much GTP, how much ATP, NADH, FADH2 was made. All these details are super important. Um, I did that for OCAM, I did that for physics with the formulas, I did that for biology and biochemistry with the processes, I did that for psychology with a lot of the definitions. Um, it was definitely a big time commitment. Okay, now the next step in my study techniques was, so after February was done, from March until June, okay, that was about three solid months, I did nothing but practice problems after practice problems after practice problems it was just a never-ending cycle of practice problems I don't know how many times I can say that to you guys you have to take the problems that the AAMC are gonna test you on you have to practice yourself because it's not only about knowing the content it's about knowing how to think like those guys want you to okay because this test is more than just a, a study cram and then dump all that information later. You can't, you will not do well, guys. I tried that last year, I didn't do good on my MCAT last year. Second time around, I changed my study habits, I studied smarter, I did better, okay? Take it from me. All right, so some of the programs that I used when I was studying for the MCAT were a third party websites like UWorld. I cannot stress out how amazing UWorld is. UWorld is a company that used to make practice problems for the USMLE Step 1 and Step 2 exam, okay? And they recently started diving into MCAT problems as well. They offer an amazing, amazing set of questions for every single subject. You can create your own tests. You can go through review mode so you can see every single problem. You can review every problem. They have amazing explanations, diagrams. All of it is A1. and you know, I, you have to buy a subscription, but I cannot stress out how much UWorld helped me improve my score and helped me improve my thinking, especially the cars questions. After I finished UWorld, I thought, hey, I'm ready to take my first practice exam, okay? For my first practice exam, I took the AAMC official full length one practice exam. The reason I went straight away to AAMC was because these guys are the, are the, are the company that makes the MCAT. So this is going to be very representative of what my score might be like on test day. I took it and I believe that my very first MCAT score, practice MCAT, MCAT score was also a 509. Okay. And the, I mean, there it is. That's as pre that, that prediction was as good as it got because that was my real score too. Um, I got a 509 on my very first full length and I was feeling good. I was like, all right, you know, there's only room for improvement here. Okay, now after studying, uh, after taking my first practice exam, what I would do is I would take that practice exam and the next day I would review it, okay? If my practice exam took six hours to take, it took me at least nine hours, one and a half amount of time to review that thing. And I would break it up into two days, two sections one day, two sections the next day. I would go through every single problem, guys. That is so important. You have to go through every problem. Any problem you got right, don't worry about it. You already know it. Any problem that you got right but guessed on it, consider it wrong. You have to go through, you have to read it, you have to understand the concepts, you need to know the concept so you don't make the same mistake the next time around, okay? Um, any problems you got wrong, personally, I wrote the wrong answer down and I wrote why I thought this was the right answer. Sometimes the explanation was, you know, simple, like I guessed, 
or sometimes the explanation was a little bit more complex. But however, I made sure that I took my time and analyzed every single problem I got wrong. I reviewed so much. I took some more practice exams and as time kept going on, my exams got better. As a matter of fact, um, my last practice exam before taking the MCAT was AAMC Full Length 3 and I scored a 518 on that exam. 518 guys, that was, that was like a 93rd percentile score. Um, to be honest, I don't know how a 518 on the last practice exam went to a 509 on the real thing. It happens. It's not the end of the world for me. Um, but the, I just want you guys to understand that anything can be tested on testing and you need to make sure that you are as prepared as possible, which leads me into my next point. Oh, you've never seen an MCAT score this good and gains this clean. Okay, anyway, sorry. <laughs> um, all right, so something else that I wanted to talk to you guys about when it came to study techniques is um, possibly the most helpful thing that I did to get the score I got. Okay. Um, Guys, I cannot stress out how important Anki is. Anki, Anki, Anki. Every time I do this, the word's gonna appear. Anki, 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 Anki. Okay, guys, what Anki is, is it is a spaced memory repetition software. I, I completely butchered that. I will also put the right name for it, you know, somewhere in this area. Okay. Um, but essentially what it does is it reviews flashcards and it times them so that the word stays in your working memory for an optimal amount of time so that your brain can better encode it into long-term memory. Lots of words, very helpful. Anki, Anki, Anki. Okay, so what I did for this was I, I went to Reddit. I also cannot stress out how important Reddit is, but um, I'm gonna get sidetracked if I talk about Reddit right now. Anyways, on Reddit, there is a deck called the Pre-Med 95 Cards, okay? When you get the Anki app, you can download this deck and it'll come with 1,500 plus, 1,500 plus flashcards already made. And it goes through everything. It goes through biology, it goes through biochemistry, it goes through physics, it goes through psychology and sociology. Now, the two sections that I completely recommend that you do all the cards and memorize them would be the si the physics, okay? Know every single equation that he made and would be the psych -soch sections. Um, the psych -soch the okay, the psych -soch section se <laughs> The psych -soch sections on the Anki deck are incredible. They go along with the Khan Academy uh, like 86 page document, which I'm gonna link below in the description, okay? That's a lifesaver, okay? They go with that and that document plus those flashcards equal amazing MCAT score. And actually guys, take it from me, my psych social section was, in, was uh, a 130. I scored a 130 in that section, which was a 95th percentile score in that section, okay? Um, it was the most helpful thing that I did. I would even put that over content review for psych and social. Like, you can skip out on the book, do the, do the document, do the flashcards with, that go along with the document, you'll be fine. Alrighty guys, so for the last part, I wanted to talk about test day strategy. So what I mean by test day strategy is probably the period of the day before the test and the day of the test. So the day before the test is a very, very important day for like mental relaxation. What I mean by that is, think about it, you guys have spent like the last, you know, two to 12 months studying for this exam. That's it. If you don't know it the day before the exam, you're not gonna know it on the exam, believe me. Rest, take a break, go hike, go spend time with your friends, go to the gym, go out, don't get, don't drink, okay? Um, but have fun 
relax. You earned it. You worked this hard. Trust me. Like this day is gonna do like a much more. You know, like what am I trying to say? The day is gonna be much better for you. Okay, if you don't cram the last day. The day before the exam in the morning, I went to the testing center. I was paranoid. I even wore the same clothes I was gonna wear on the testing on testing day. Got up, got dressed, left the house, and I got there by 7.30 in the morning so I would know exactly what my commute would look like. I'd know exactly where I was testing even though I went there last year, whatever. Anyways, I got there, I prepared myself, I made sure that nothing was gonna get in my way from me walking into that building and taking that test, okay? Um, now, for the rest of the day, I relaxed. I know I went to the gym, I went out to dinner with my girlfriend and my mother, it was just a nice day, I saw some friends, and um, the night off, I was tired, I went to bed at 10, probably didn't fall asleep till 11.30, but I fell asleep and I got at least six hours of sleep, like six, seven hours of good sleep. So by the time the test day rolled through, I was up, I was awake, I was relaxed, I was just ready to go in and kill it. Otherwise, guys, I think that concludes my video for MCAT analysis. I know I didn't go into too much depth, into too much stuff. I know I could talk more about my own specific study schedule. I could talk more in detail about how I took notes, the kind of videos I watched, Anki. I'm gonna link a lot of stuff below in the description, but if you guys liked what you saw, then please leave a comment, please leave a thumbs up, and please hit that subscribe button for me. That'll do me a big, big favor because I put in a lot of effort into making this video for you guys. Thank you so much.